Friday and happy Friday. I'm Pat Allen back again today. It will just call me PA. Okay, that's good enough. Uh, once again on Fridays, I come to you to share with you wonderful, wonderful stories about sisters of color. A lot of us don't know about a lot of us because we are some of the greatest known unknowns ever known. And I want you to know some of the knowns that are available for that knowledge. Things we will not learn in school, in class, or, or any, anything else. We just need a little bit of hint there. When you get the opportunity, which should be now, do us a favor and subscribe to our channel so that you'll be able to see it at any time. It'll come remind you. Anytime you want a little history lesson or you want to sit one of your children down or a friend or whatever, feel free to share the information and have some of them investigated further because of course these stories are way too long for me to be able to tell you everything these successful women sisters have done so i'm going to start by reading something a little piece that i had read and this piece was written by gerda lerner she emphasized in her book that black women in white america history in the past largely written by white male historians has simply failed to ask those questions which would just tell information about the female contribution especially the black female the female point of view and records that lie buried unread and frequently noticed and even more seldom interpreted by others just like when people are talking about oh black wall street i never heard about it well that's because they didn't share that with you in school it wasn't to tell about our accomplishments, it was their accomplishments. So I thought I'd like to share sometimes some accomplishments that we've done, because we need to be lifted up, <laughs> lift us up and carry us away, because without us, this country would not be. Trust me on that. Okay, so we're going to talk about Nanny, who later in life, they start calling her Granny Nanny, and she's Nanny of the Maroons in Jamaica. She was born in eight, uh, 1686 in Ghana. She came over on a slave ship, and they brought them to Jamaica. She died in 1733 at 47 years of age. I mentioned the Maroons just to let you know. The Maroons, uh, the word of Maroon came from a Spanish word, Cimarrons. It's a Spanish word, and they turned it into, of course, it, which it meant was mountaineers, which these people were hiding. And after, after remaining in the distant shadows of the Maroons, they insisted on hiding their secrets from the world's curiosity. They even married amongst themselves because they refused to mix their blood with other people of the island. Nanny was highly successful in organizing plans to free slaves. During a period of about 30 years, she freed over 1,000 slaves. Hey, hey, we have some wonderful sisters like that in America, too, don't we? Yes, that they don't acknowledge also. Um, there's so much to say about them. You know, they were escaped slaves. They moved to mountains. They ran away from the Spanish, the plantations that they were at. And the British took over the Caribbean island of Jamaica back in 1655. And that's when the Maroons said, hey, we're just going to participate in this and we're just going to take over. So now today, Jamaica is mixed with a plethora of different people as we are around the world everywhere. Thank God for transportation, whether it's by boat or by float, as long as we're getting around and mixing amongst us others, because we have so much to share. I know I've mentioned to you many times before that what I do as a contribution, and when I say I, I mean the business, which is called Handle It Handbags, just like it sounds. Handle it, and eh, you handle it because all your bags are handled, and the product is actually about handbags correctly. And to see anything else that we have available, of course, you can always go to www.handleithandbags.com. Again, handle it handbags is spelled H A N D B A G Z. If you make a mistake and put an S, we still got you covered. I want to talk about this clutch bag. I think it's quite attractive. It's all leather. Yes, it is in the front. It's a leather flap. The back of this bag is made out of indigo, so we are truly Afri uh, representing Africa today. Yes, it's leather over Africa, isn't it? And since Nanny is from Ghana, we want to represent the country. The flat bag, actually, it's a flip over. It's a great way to carry the bag, sure. It's a wonderful, I like plush bags myself. This has a zipper top, and it's fully lined. I'll take this tissue paper out, just share that with you. 
carefully lined. It has two pockets, two leather pockets inside. Great for carrying anywhere, anytime, any place. It represents, as we do with handle a handbag, represent. Like to have it myself. I had made one once before with the colors of actually Bob Molly colors. But this particular one is rep representing us again. Feel free to see the bag and get more information again at www.handleithandbags.com. I hope I shared a little information with you today, a little insight. Take your time when you get some moment. Get the, when you get a moment, take some time and read up some more information about her and see what else is out there. If you're teaching a class, share your knowledge. Each one teach one. <laughs> Thanks again for stopping by at Handle It Handbags and have a wonderful remainder of a Friday. See you next week.